family and friends, Rick and Nancy, we are assembled here in the presence of God. To join, let us therefore remember that God has established and sanctified marriage for the welfare and happiness of mankind. Our Savior has declared that a man and woman should be joined to each other and become one. By his apostles, he has instructed those who enter into this relation to cherish a mutual esteem and love, to bear with each other's weaknesses, to comfort each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow, to provide for each other and their household and temporal things, to pray for and encourage each other in the things which pertain to God, and to live together as the heirs of the grace of life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-blessed God, whose presence is the happiness of every as you have brought them together by your providence, sanctify them by your spirit, giving them a new frame of heart fit for their new estate, and enrich them with all grace, whereby they may enjoy the comforts, undergo the cares, endure the trials, and perform the duties of life together as becometh Christians under thy heavenly guidance and protection through our Lord Jesus Christ. Rick, will you take Nancy to be your wife, and will you pledge your commitment to her in all love and honor, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her according to the ordinance of God and the holy bond of marriage, do you? I do. Nancy, do you take Rick to be your husband, and do you, do you pledge your commitment to him in all love and honor, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him according to the ordinance of God and the holy bond of marriage, do you? Marlena, Ricky, Colleen, Gio, and Brian, as your father and mother are joined in marriage, will you give your love and support to them, and will you continue as all of you begin a new family life together? Will you? Yes. <laughs> There's no choice. Hear the word of the Lord. The Apostle Paul has penned for us the great love chapter, which is a firm foundation for marriage. He writes, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. You've come together according to God's wonderful plan for creation. Now before God and these witnesses, will you join hands and say your vows to each other? I Rick take you Nancy. I Rick take you Nancy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To love. To love. Honor. Honor. And cherish. And cherish. Not only as my wife. Not only as my wife. But as my best friend. But as my best friend. I make a commitment to you. I make a commitment to you. Before God. Before God. Our families. Our families. And friends. And friends. <coughs> to be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. To remain by your side. To remain by your side. In plenty and in want. Plenty and in one. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Both now and forever. Both now and forever. My name is to take you, Rick. To be my wedded husband. To love, honor, and cherish. Not only as my husband, but as my best friend. I make a commitment to you before God our families, and friends, to be your loving and faithful wife, to remain by your side, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, both now and forever. What tokens do you give that you faithfully perform these vows?
From time immemorial, the ring has been used to seal important covenants. You have brought rings as an outward sign of sealing your covenant with God and each other this day. These rings are a precious metal, and your love for each other be the most precious possession of your hearts. They are of unbroken circle, so let your love for each other be unbroken as you live out your vows to God and to each other. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings, that they who give them and they who wear them may abide in your peace and continue in your favor under their life's end, through Jesus Christ our Lord. This ring I give you, this ring I give you, as a sign of my promise, as a sign of my promise, in token and pledge, in token and pledge, of our constant faith, of our constant faith, and abiding love, and abiding love. This ring I give you, as a sign of my promise, token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. Lord, bless and consecrate Rick and Nancy in their love for each other. May these rings be a symbol of true faith in each other and always remind them of their promises made to each other this day. By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel, I declare that Rick and Nancy are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God in the state of California, in the name of the Father, and of the Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. May these words from the Book of Ruth be the intent of your hearts, entreat me not to leave you or to return from following after you. For where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Whom God has joined together, let no man put his son. Let each of us pray for Rick and Nancy in our own way. Our Father and our God, we praise you and thank you for the right of marriage. Thank you that you have brought Rick and Nancy together, and we pray that their union may be a perfect one, that their home may be filled with peace and love and joy, that they may have every fruit of the Spirit. We pray, O oh Lord, that you may bless this family group, that your Spirit may be upon them, that you may nurture them, that you might reveal yourself unto them in ways in which they can understand and respond. We ask that you may go before them, that you may guide and guard and protect them, that you might give them all a love for each other and especially for you. We give you praise and honor and glory and thanks. And now may the grace, mercy, and peace of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with each of you. Both now. Nice baby there. Thank you. 
Smile, smile, you guys, smile, a nice smile, a nice smile. Pepsi cans, instead of beer cans, it's Pepsi cans, it's usually 